Oh yeah, it helped a bunch. I, I had I not had the engineering background, and, and I would look at it, it would have taken me a lot longer. You know, when you when you study engineering, your brain thinks concepts, and and uh, you can visualize things. And so, yeah, it was a huge asset for me to have that engineering background, that design aspect. So I could sit with Freddie and take and extract the knowledge that he has, and then I could put it on paper, and then I could go to JCI and talk to their engineers. And so it was a fairly smooth process. So, yeah, the engineering background that I have helped me immensely. Yeah, when we first started the plant up, there was a design flaw, and it was it was partly Fred and I's fault, and it was partly, you know, the manufacturer of it. When we started it up, we wanted our feed box, our pre-wash box, to be adjustable because we didn't know what angle we needed to get that material to flow down. So what we did is we designed it to hinge, where we could raise it up or lower it depending on the pitch we needed to get the material to flow. In doing that, we created about, oh my gosh, probably 12 different pivot points and 12 different adjustment points. And then when you started up the screen, those pivot points through the, the harmonics and the, the internal vibration of that screen transferred into all these loose points and it just sounded like that thing was just gonna fall apart. It didn't take us very long to figure it out. It took us actually less than a day. We figured out that there was just way too many moving parts we locked it down, welded it, put X braces and K braces, made it solid, and that was it. So it was just a, an oversight. We missed that, didn't realize that there was going to be that much vibration transferring through the steel. Um, I used JCI because of my relationship with Jeff Schwartz. He had just sold me a incline screen for our rock pit in Oregon at Mount Hood Rock. I was totally satisfied. They exceeded my expectations. They backed it up. They sent a mechanic out to help set it up. You know, they did everything and it was on time and it was good quality workmanship and it's a local company. I believe in using local companies. You know, they're in Oregon. It's, you know, right down the I-5. So that was my relationship. I like Jeff and that's the reason I went to him. And it was interesting. Jeff took a chance on us. You know, it was a risk for Jeff and JCI to go with us to portray and to show the JCI product line on television in front of millions of people. He took a chance and trusted Todd and I to portray his equipment, JCI's equipment, in a positive light. There's a lot of people that wouldn't do that. Our history wasn't that great. Season one and season two weren't that great. We did not look like we were real smart miners. And what I really liked about JCI and Jeff Schwartz, they took a chance. Just like we took a chance to go up there and, and start a new career and start something new, JCI stepped up and said, let's do this. I'm going to take the risk, put my equipment on the line in front of millions of people, and they had enough faith in us and they had enough faith in their product that they put it on TV and they showed it. So I really admire KCI and Jeff Schwartz for taking that chance and believing in us. It was a risk. 